final leg here for another weekly athlete spotlight. We're talking about the 400 and the triple jump. Let's jump into it. First off, we have Lido Andres Feliz. He competes for the Dominican Republic. And in the 400 meters, we saw him just this weekend on Saturday, he ran 44.64 seconds at the Iberia American Championships all the way out in Spain. This is a personal best for him and a pretty strong performance. Also earlier, just about a week before on May 14th, he ran 44.83 seconds. So already two sub 45 uh, second performances for Feliz in 2022. 44.64 makes him number 10 in the world this year and is a huge personal best. Again, he ran 44.83, 44.64, dropping his personal best. Prior to 2022, his best was 45.23 seconds, which was all the way back in 2019. So this is a pretty huge and significant drop for him coming down with that 44.64 seconds. Now, he also had run 45.28 seconds in 2021. So again, really running 45s. Now he's really breaking into the 44s. And what I love to see is that consistency, 44.64, 44.83, right? He's not like dropping one 44 second time and then he's all the way back to the 45s. This is showing that great consistency that we all love to see when we're, when we're talking about track and field. Now, he's also actually the first Dominican athlete to run sub 45 seconds since Llewellyn Santos was doing so for probably almost a decade in the 2010s, right? Uh, Llewellyn Santos is one of the greatest 400 meter runners that we've seen over the past decade, right? 2012 Olympic silver medalist, 2013 um, um, world championship bronze medalist. So he is a really solidified athlete. And so for Feliz to be able to drop into the 44 second realm and really put Dominican Republic back on the map from what Llewellyn Santos was able to do some years back, this really bodes well for him and, of course, for his country. Now, we also have to take a look at what's been happening globally, right? Over the past decade, again, I mentioned Luca Lynn Santos. You have Karani James, Wade Van Niekerk, Steven Gardner, um, Anthony Zambrano, um, Akeem Bloomfield, right? There's tons of athletes that are really non-Americans that have been taking over the 400 meters to a degree. Of course, there's still Michael Norman. You know, Fred Curley, of course, is dropping down. Um, you know, there's a couple other athletes, Michael Cherry, right, who are United States athletes who are really, you know, consistent in the 400. But globally, we've really seen a shift away from the United States dominating the 400 and moving to some of these other countries, putting their foot on the track and taking over some of those top medals. So we might see Feliz really put himself into the fold along with somebody um, you know, like Jonathan Jones from Barbados as another athlete who's coming from the Caribbean, who's coming from South America into the fold with this 400 meters. I think this 44.64 really solidifies him as a potential threat to maybe make the final if he's really able to step things up. So look out for Feliz. Now, jumping over to the women's side and into the field, we have Lianis Perez Hernandez. She competes for Cuba in the women's triple jump, and she jumped a personal best this weekend of 14.58 meters into a negative 0.4 meter per second headwind. So a strong personal best. Her PB last year that she set was 14.53 meters. She was entered in the Olympic Games last year as well, but unfortunately, she didn't get to compete. She did, at the end of the year in December, she won the U23 Pan American Junior Games in the triple jump. So she had some strong performances. Also earlier this year, she competed at the World Indoor Championships, only finished 11th place. But I think this is showing that she's very consistent getting to the top championships, right? She's really growing her profile. She's starting to get in the mix with some of the top athletes, right? The triple jump is really stacked, but she's been very consistent in the 14 meter range, which again, bodes pretty well for what she might be able to do as the year progresses. I've mentioned it before, right, that the triple jump, it's pretty stacked, really below Yulimar Rojas. Of course, Yulimar Rojas is gone. She might be challenging 16 meters soon, right? But below her, think of some of the names that we have. We have Ricketts from Jamaica, Povea from Cuba. Um, we have Lafon from Dominica. We have Orgy from the United States, right? Beck Romanchuk, who just dipped her toes into the triple jump this year, really making some noise. And of course, the um, you know the medalist behind Rojas. We have uh, Mamona from Portugal, and then we also have Pelletrio from uh, Spain. All these women who I just mentioned and a couple others, I really see them kind of in this bucket, right? Some of them, you know, like Ricketts, right? They're, they're really, they are maybe, you know, teetering on that 15 meter barrier. Mamona, of course, jumped 1501 last year. But I really think all of them are kind of in this mixed bag just below um, Yulamar Rojas. And no one is really sticking themselves out as that consistent number two or that consistent number three. I think this gives Hernandez a great shot to really step her game up and put herself into that conversation and into that mix of that tier of triple jumpers 
who are potential meta contenders, right? So right now, of course, Rojas is the only person who's far and away from the rest of the field. Hernandez, with this world-leading performance, I didn't even mention this 14-meter uh, jump, 14.58, was a world-leading performance, of course, for right now in May. This puts her in that conversation, and she's only 20 years old. So she has a lot of years ahead of her. If not this year, we're definitely going to see a lot more from her as the years progress and as her long career likely unfolds. So Keep a lookout for Hernandez. Keep a lookout um, for Feliz. Both these athletes really making an impact in their events for this past weekend. Make sure you keep tuning in. Go in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other athletes who I might have missed from this weekend or some athletes who really do need some spotlight that otherwise might not get it just because they're a little bit under the radar. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.